Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be working on Form 2 Chemistry. We are going to be looking at the topic, the structure of the atom and the periodic table. And our subtopic for the day is the atomic number and mass number. Previously, we discussed on the atomic theory. We were able to see the different scientists that contributed into the structure of the atom and some of the contributions they did and also we were able to look at the particles or subatomic particles of the atom and also check their masses and their charges so today we are going to introduce the concept of the atomic number and mass number we are going to do a few examples in identifying the atomic number and mass number and then we'll do a few questions in regards to what you're going to learn so we'll start by defining what atomic number is. So atomic number is the number of protons. It's not the number of electrons, but the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. So the number of, of electrons we shall change. That's why we do not refer them as atomic number. And then examples are like sodium has 11 protons. So we say that it is atomic number 11. We have chlorine, which has 17 protons, so we say it is atomic number 17. And atomic number is usually represented in a certain way when we are showing uh, atoms or elements. It's usually represented as a superscript to the left of the symbol. For example, so if you look at these examples, we have sodium, whom we said is atomic number 11 because it has 11 protons. You can see it's a superscript and it's on the left side of the symbol of the atom. When you look at magnesium with 12 protons, we see the atomic number is 12 and it is placed as a superscript on the left side of the symbol of the atom. Then we go to mass number. So the mass number refers to the sum or total number of protons and neutrons in an atom. So if you take the number of protons, you add the number of neutrons, you form the mass number. So for example, sodium has to neutrons and 11 protons so it has a mass number of 23 it's 12 neutron not two neutrons sorry so sodium has 12 neutrons and 11 protons so it is 11 plus 12 we form 23 mass number of 23 and then we look at chlorine for example has 18 neutrons and 17 protons so it is 18 plus 17, we form 35. And you can see the number of protons and neutrons are not the same. They are not always the same. Every atom has their unique number of neutrons and protons. So you can't say that sodium has 11 protons and 11 neutrons. And you can't say it, chlorine has 17 protons and 17 neutrons. We will come later on and discover that chlorine is one of the atoms that can form isotopes, and you will discover what isotopes are. So when you look at the representation of mass number, mass number is represented as superscripts. So it is placed on the left symbol on the top. So if you look at sodium with mass number 23, it's on the top and then on the left side of the symbol. Magnesium is 24 on the top left side of the, uh, the symbol of the element. So when you look at the total, like how we present, for example, our sodium, you see our sodium is represented by the atomic number, which is 11, and then the mass number, which is 23. This is how we present sodium, both with the mass number at the top and then atomic number at the bottom left side of the uh, symbol for magnesium uh, magnesium is atomic number 12 and mass number 24 so that's how we present so if you see such a symbol it means it have 12 protons 
and it has a mass number of 24, which is the number of protons and the number of neutrons. So let's get the um, atomic number and mass number of the specific element shown. So if you look at the table, we have aluminium. Aluminium, the symbol is Al, and it has 13 protons. 13 protons, this is the atomic number, which is 13. So we said that the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons. So in a neutral aluminium atom, we have also 13 electrons. So if you take the number of protons and the number of uh, neutrons, you form the mass number. So if we take 13 uh, plus 14, we form 27, which is the mass number of aluminium. Silicon, the symbol is Si. The number of proton is 14, which is equal to the number of electrons since it's neutral. So the number of neutrons is 14. So the num atomic number, which is the number of protons, is also going to be 14. So if you look at the mass number, we take the number of neutrons, which is 14, and the number of protons, which is 14, which gives us 28. Phosphorus, the symbol is P. It is as 15 protons, which is the same as the atomic number. And we know the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons. So the electrons that we have for phosphorus are 15. If we were to calculate the mass number, we'll take the, na mass num the number of neutrons, which is 16, plus the number of protons, which is 15. This gives us a total of 31. Let's go to the next atom, which is sulfur. The symbol is S. It has 16 protons, so it has equal number of electrons. So the electrons will be 16. And then the atomic number will also be 16, since this is the number of protons. If we look at the mass number, we will add the number of neutrons and the number of protons. So the number of neutrons is 16. The number of protons is 16, which gives us 32. We go to chlorine, which has a symbol of Cl. It has number of protons is 17, which are equal to the number of electrons, which is also 17. So when we look at the atomic number of fluorine, it's the same as the number of protons, which is 17. So if we calculate the mass number, it's going to be the number of neutrons, which is 18 as the number of protons, which is 17. This gives us 35. Let's go to argon. Argon is a uh, number of protons is 18, and the symbol is AR. So if the number of protons is 18, this is the same number of electrons as well. So electrons will also be 18 for a neutral argon. And the neutrons are 22. The atomic number is the number of protons, which is 18. Mass number, we are going to take the number of neutrons, which is 22, plus the number of protons, which is 18, which is going to give us 40. So we said 40. And then potassium, the symbol is K. And it has 19 protons, which are the same equal with the number of electrons. So the number of neutrons are 20. So if you look at the atomic number, it's the same as the number of protons, which is 19. And then the mass number will be the number of neutrons, which is 20, plus the number of protons, which is 19, which gives us 39. And then uh, calcium, which is the symbol is CA, is number of protons are 20 which are equal to the number of electrons, so the electrons are also 20. The number of neutrons are 20. So when you look at the atomic number, which is the number of protons, is also 20. So when you look at the mass number, it's going to be 20, which is the number of neutrons, plus 20, which is the number of protons, which gives us 40. So you notice that the mass number of argon and calcium looks the same, but when you look at the number of protons and neutrons, are, they are different. So that's what we said. Uh, you do not say that the number of neutrons are always the same to protons, but in a neutral atom, 
the number of protons are always equal to the number of electrons. So we continue with the same. So we have hydrogen, which the symbol is H. The number of protons is one, so the number of electrons is one as well. And the number of neutrons is zero. The atomic number is the number of protons, so it's going to be one. The mass number is the number of neutrons, which is zero, plus the number of protons, which is one, so this is one. Helium, the symbol is He, and helium has two protons, which are the same equal number of electrons because it's neutral. And it has two neutrons. So the atomic number is the number of protons, so it's going to be two. The mass number is going to be the number of neutrons, which is two, plus the number of protons, which is two, which gives us four. Lithium, the symbol is Li, and it's capital L. And then it has uh, three protons. So the number of electrons is also three because it's neutral. And then the number of neutrons are four. So the atomic number is going to be three because of three protons. So the mass number is going to be the number of neutrons, which is four, plus the number of protons, which is three, which is going to give us mass number seven. Beryllium, the symbol is B he, and it has four protons, which are equal to the number of electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons, which is four. The mass number is the number of neutrons, which is five, plus number of protons, which is four which gives us nine. Boron, the symbol is B, and the uh, number of protons is five, so it's equal to the number of electrons, which is also five. And the atomic number is the same as number of protons, which is five. The mass number is the number of neutrons, which is six, plus the number of protons, which is five, which gives us mass number 11. Carbon, the symbol is C, it has number of protons six, which are equal to the number of electrons. And the atomic number of carbon is also um, six because there are six protons. The mass number is going to be the number of neutrons, which is six, plus the number of protons, which is six, which gives us the mass of 12. Nitrogen is as the symbol N. It has seven protons. So the number of electrons are also seven because they are equal. And the, num the atomic number is also seven because it's the number of protons. The mass number will be the number of neutrons, which is seven, plus the number of protons, which is seven, giving us 14. And then oxygen, the symbol is O. It has eight protons. So the, the electrons will be also eight because they are neutral. And then the atomic number will be eight because the number of protons. The mass number will be eight plus eight, which is the number of neutrons plus the number of uh, protons. And then fluorine, the symbol will be F. And the number of protons are nine, which are equal to the number of electrons, which is the same as the atomic number. And then the mass number will be the number of neutrons plus the, the number of protons, which gives us 19. Neon, the symbol is Ne, and the number of protons are 10, which are equal to the number of electrons, uh, which is the same as the atomic number. And then the mass number is the number of neutrons, which is 10, plus the number of protons, which is 10, which gives us 20. Sodium, the symbol is Na. Number of electrons are 11 which is the same as the atomic number. And then the mass number is the number of neutrons. You add the number of protons, which gives you 23. And then finally, magnesium, which has 12 protons. So the symbol is Mg. And the protons are equal to electrons. So we have 12 electrons. And the atomic number is also 12. So mass number will be number of neutrons, which is 12, plus number of protons, which is 12, giving us the mass number of 24. So that was a good practice. I hope you've been able to understand. Let's do a few questions and then end the lesson. So this question, you will identify the number of protons, identify the number of neutrons, and identify the number of electrons. So we'll start with this compound, 
you can see it's uranium, but you don't have to remember this at this level. Uh, we said at the top side, the left side, we have the mass number. And at the, at the bottom left side, we have the atomic number. So the atomic number is the same as the number of protons. So the protons that we have in this question are 92. The number of neutrons, we'll get them by taking the mass number, which is 235. We subtract the atomic number or the number of protons, which is 92. So when we do 235, uh, we subtract 92, we get 143. And then the next question is beryllium. It has a mass number of 9 and the atomic number of 4. So we know that the atomic number is the same as the number of protons. So we know we have four protons. So the neutrons, we'll get them by subtracting 9, 4 from 9, which is the mass number minus the protons, which will give us 5. Not forgetting, just like I've forgotten in the previous example, so the electrons in the first example are also 92 because the number of electrons and protons are always the same. So in this case, the number of electrons also are equals to 4 because they are equal to the number of protons. And finally, we have lithium, which has a mass number of 7 and atomic number of 3. So the number of protons are going to be 3 because of the atomic number and the number of electrons are equal to the number of protons since it's neutral are also going to be 3. The number of neutrons on the other hand, we are going to take the mass number which is 7, we subtract the number of protons which is 3, so we will get 4. So we, are able, we have been able to get the number of protons and neutrons and electrons just from this uh, symbolic representation of the atom. So this brings us to the end of the second part of this topic. So see you in the next lesson.